Baltimore Mayor Brandon Scott was in Annapolis today as well, attending the bill signing ceremony and looking ahead to his second term. Scott defeated Sheila Dixon in the mayoral primary. Despite losing by 10 points, Dixon says she won't concede until all those mail-in ballots have been counted. So what exactly could a second term look like? Political experts we spoke with say likely much of the same. Fox 45's Maxine Stryker reports. Just hours after the polls closed on Tuesday, Mayor Brandon Scott was declared the winner. But looking ahead to the next four years, how will he move the city forward? Mayor Brandon Scott handily defeated Sheila Dixon in the Democratic primary, putting him on course to lead Baltimore for another four years. It's a mandate to double down and work harder for this great city and each and every one of you. Scott calling it a mandate. When you win, that's what you do politically. You claim a mandate. Touting the historic reduction of homicides and non-fatal shootings and promising to stay the course with his holistic crime strategies, saying voters made their choice clear. But this year, not many voters hit the polls. The city reporting just 21% of eligible voters cast a ballot. That means nearly 70,000 of 323,000 eligible voters decided who will lead Baltimore for four more years. It's a smart move to claim a mandate. It's a smart move to say, you know, I'm going to push these, this agenda and this type of stuff. But you still are going to have a city council to deal with that may say, you know, not so fast, my friend. Look, you know, there's maybe some things we agree on, but there's other things we want to get done. He's going to have to work on building some con consensus. A city council where only half its members endorse Scott, not including the new city council president, Zeke Cohen. Scott will also have to work hand in hand with Baltimore City State's attorney, Ivan Bates, who endorsed his opponent, Sheila Dixon, saying their views on fighting crime better aligned. I think he's going to push through with a lot of his programs because it's a long running battle. At the same time, I think he's going to tackle things from one perspective. Ivan Bates is going to tackle from another perspective. But I think they're going to basically try to fix a problem from two different directions. Rhetoric expert Richard Vatz agrees, but says he doesn't see Scott's win as a mandate. Well, when you have a voter turnout of 20%, which is a major drop from the last election, you can't claim a mandate. What's the mandate for? doing the same things that he's been doing that have led Baltimore into this awful situation. Yes, there are less homicides, but there are all, there are all kinds of more uh, uh, lesser crimes. A report from Baltimore police showed overall crime was up in 79% of Baltimore neighborhoods last year, and juvenile crime continues to soar. Whether it's the will of the voters or not, that says there is potential for Scott to do good in the coming years. He can do this. But he's got to get the right team, he's got to get the right people, and he's got to change his perspective. He cannot continue doing exactly what he's been doing because that will yield results that are exactly the results that we've had and we have now. Now only time will tell how the next four years will play out, but Mayor Scott could be the longest serving mayor in decades. In Baltimore, Maxine Stryker, Fox 45 News. I'm Kai Jackson. Thank you for watching. Here's another video to watch. Also, please take a moment to subscribe to our channel.